Now, um, here's what I have to offer. First of all, I have many books, and I have meditations, and I have a lot of free resources, free meditations, free articles, free video lectures, okay, free radio programs to listen to. What's my message? I know that most people are lost between their two ears. They haven't found a reason for their existence. They haven't found a purpose to life. They haven't found joy, fulfillment. What they found are substitutes, partying, pleasure, um, distraction. But they haven't found the real thing. They're looking for the real thing. I would like you to find the real thing. But you'll be glad to know that I don't want, I'm not the source. I don't want to be your source. don't want to be your leader. But when I make my videos, when I write my books, when I make my radio program, I'm seeking to awaken you. To awaken you from your trance, from your comfort zone, from com too much comfort, too much food, too much alcohol, too much marijuana, too much texting, too much music, too many videos, too much daydreaming. See, too much video games, way too much of everything. As a matter of fact, in your current state, um, if you're like most people, you could be sitting on a tropical island with nothing. No iPhone, no radio, no MP3. You could be sitting there with nothing. And you would still be, you would still get, you still would be lost. You would be in a frame of mind where you can't find the, the reason for your existence. You can't find answers. You'd be lost in, in, in thinking, in fantasy, in daydreams and um, thoughts of, and worries, fears and anxieties. And you'd be lost it there. So what you need to do is to come out of being lost. As soon as, you, as, soon as we get lost in our thoughts to any extent, we immediately become separated from reality. As soon as you get lost in a movie, or lost in music, or lost in marijuana, or lost in work, lost in anything, and especially when you're lost in thoughts, all of a sudden you're not totally there. And since you're not totally there, you make mistakes. And you're rude and you don't even know that you're rude. And you're not there for your kids. You don't even know that you're not there for your kids and so on. You're not there for your partner. You don't even know you're not there for your partner. Because you're, you're in the frame of mind where you can't know. What you have to do is to be able to step back. Take a mental step back so you can realize. So you can see. So, it's very simple. So, you don't need a lot of analysis. You know, here's, here's the thing. What you need to do is just get my meditation and try it. Now I have a free version, and all it teaches you how to sit, how to become still, how to sit quietly, and become aware of your hands. You're in the present, what they call the eternal now, mindful in the present, and at the same time, with, you have your eyes closed and you look at the inside of your eyelids. So you observe the little pixels of light, little patterns of light, little glow of light on the inside of your eyelids. You just look at the inside of your eyelids with your eyes closed. You become aware of your hands until they tingle a little bit. And that immediately brings you back to the present. It takes you out of the, the Alice in Wonderland dark world of, the, of your imagination where you're lost all the time. It brings you back to, to the present. That's the state you had when you were a little child. And in that state, understanding is available to you. Wisdom is available to you. Patience, okay, are available to you from within. 